Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, well, one thing we need, widespread rain, and it's in the forecast over the next couple of days. I'm seeing, you know, really everything coming together in the atmosphere to produce some of this wet weather. Now, we are tracking some showers on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, but most of the activity this evening has been well to our north and west, and one area of some once strong thunderstorms now weakening, another batch well off to our south and west, all of this tracking uh, to the north and east. So some of this may try to come through during the overnight in a weakened state, just a, a passing harmless uh, rain shower. We're not anticipating any thunderstorms, at least not yet, but a shower overnight early tomorrow morning can't be ruled out. Of course, hot today, not as hot as yesterday when it was 97, but we did top out upper 80s to 90 in Providence, making it an official heat wave. We will not get to 90 tomorrow, but it will be a warm and humid day, at least, you know, 82, 83 degrees. Threat tracker now through the overnight Thursday and Friday in the low category, category even though we do have some precipitation both uh, Thursday and Friday. We'll show you that in just a second. Increasing clouds are partly cloudy in Providence right now. Warm at 75. Light winds, high humidity. That's usually a recipe for some patchy fog, especially near the ocean late tonight and early tomorrow morning. Tiverton's in the mid-70s right now. In most areas have been holding in the mid-70s anywhere from about 75 to 76. It'll stay in the 70s all night long. So it is an air conditioning kind of night. It is still warm and muggy. Okay, here are the players that I'm tracking. One uh, being a cold front, and that's draped across uh, central New England right now. You can see the showers and some isolated thunderstorms along the front. What will happen is this will pass through tomorrow and then kind of stall near Block Island and Long Island, New York. And then what will happen is a storm or area of low pressure will form along the front and kind of ride along the front like a train track. And as it passes by, it's going to ring out the atmosphere with all the high humidity, creating some widespread rain and the potential for some thunder. So future cast for this evening, increasing clouds, warm, humid, some fog, a couple of isolated showers overnight, early tomorrow morning. This is 7 a.m., so don't be surprised. Yeah, heading out to work, kids heading out to school for a passing shower. But notice how it becomes more generous and, and widespread during the afternoon. This is around 2 o'clock. See the little blips of red and orange here, here? And you can see some isolated downpours and some rumbles of thunder can't be ruled out. And that trend will continue tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, and into Friday morning. With the extra cloud cover, temperatures not as hot. So, some scattered showers tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., 81, about 82, 83 tomorrow afternoon. Still keep the umbrella on standby, a passing shower or thunderstorm, and even a downpour at times. We still have very high humidity to work with, so no surprise that the visibility on the bay varying between one and three miles in some scattered showers and thunderstorms. All right, seven-day future cast, some of the heavier rain actually tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, that will coincide with the Patriots game. Rain is likely temperatures in the mid 70s much cooler on Friday I anticipate rain the first part of the day during the morning drying out Friday afternoon that sets up for a cooler dry Saturday at 75 and still seeing indications of the wet weather returning on Sunday will bring rain back into the picture the second half of the weekend on Sunday cool compared to where we've been of late over the weekend with daytime highs in the mid 70s so warm and muggy tomorrow just not as hot rain is likely we need it and at times it may be heavy uh, tomorrow night for the football game into a Friday morning so the last thing we need to get rid of is that humidity and just take that out of there. and we can get rid of that by Friday afternoon all right sounds good thanks yeah. Chuck